This is so embarrassing. I want to smack her in the face when I watch that clip. So it was perfect. So much energy. I'm like really tired watching myself. Chicago, Chicago. Chicago, Chicago. It's a city that's exciting. It's a city that's inviting. It's a city for a woman just like me. There's a lake they call Lake Michigan. I think I'm really fitting. And this city is my perfect cup of tea. Chicago, Chicago. Really upset with this chunk of hair that was just like sticking out. That was like my first time, I wanna say it was my first time of many times afterwards, but the first time I had ever been um, harnessed in and flown around. And then it became a running theme where I felt like I was always harnessed in something and flown around. <laughs> we did a lot of takes. We did a lot of takes of everything, I'm not gonna lie. We just were, you know, we have a very perfectionistic team, cast and crew. I remember just being in that harness for longer than most would have liked. I'm really surprised I'm pregnant today. <laughs> I can't believe you told Zoe first. Well, I, I was looking for you. You said you'd be in the lounge where you weren't, but I went there and I just happened to run into Zoe. And you just had to tell her your big news before you told me, your girlfriend? <laughs> Look, I think you're making way too big a deal out of this. I mean, if you- I don't want you talking to Zoe anymore. What? Ever again. Becca? Hey. Did you tell Rebecca about the- You think you can tell me who I can and can't talk to? You heard what I said. Wow, look at that tree over there. I can't believe you. <sighs> look, Chase, I talked to some people around here. I know you used to like Zoe. Is that true or not? I'm over it. Good, because I'm your girlfriend now. And you can't be all buddy-buddy with a girl that you used to like. Go tell Zoe you can't be friends with her anymore. Bossy boots. Ah, oh, poor thing. Gosh, he seemed like such a nice guy. That one's a lot to handle. There's just so much, like I have like sideburns that are curling, I'm wearing a lot of eyeliner. What a moment. Look at her, big old cheeky face. But I was just, I was so excited to be a guest on it because I was working with a bunch of kids and like, it was, uh, yeah, it was fun, you know? And I also, honestly, I hate saying this, maybe because I'm not this way in real life, but I really like being sort of a beezy, sort of mean girl. It's fun. I don't want you talking to Zoe anymore. Although I want to smack her in the face when I watch that clip. Ever again. Okay, you know what, maybe it's weird like for a guy to have like a really good close girlfriend that's not your actual girlfriend, like it's just a close friend that's a girl, but she, she did not communicate the way that you should properly in a relationship. Go tell Zoe you can't be friends with her anymore. You know, it's not the right way to do it. Can I just share something so crazy? The kiss in one of those episodes was my first kiss. I remember doing the scene and being so nervous. I'm sorry. Z Zoe, this is, this is Rebecca, my girlfriend. This is so embarrassing. My first four kisses were all on TV. I didn't have my first real kiss until I was almost 18. Yeah. See, I told you I'll just share anything you guys want. <laughs> I think the coolest part about being on Zoe 101 at first was being that I was a big Britney Spears fan, and to be able to work with his, her sister was like super cool. I don't know who you think you are, but- I think I'm Chase's girlfriend, and you're not. So leave him alone and stay out of my way. I don't think I ever got to meet Britney, although I think she was on set once in a while, but her mom was there and that was close enough. And so was Jamie, so it was perfect. Dreams. We have 62 minutes until we land, and I'm sure if I type really fast, I can get this done. You! <gasps> Press! Oh. oh my god, you're Paris Hilton! <laughs> you took my camera. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. It's in your hand. I'll give it back if you write about me. No, it doesn't work that way. Give me my camera. Oh, come on. Drina! You don't understand. This is a big camera. deal to me. This okay, is like something that I'm doing. I've been my camera my whole life. No, no, no. Oh, oh my god! Paris Hilton is real. Always resting. Am I singing? Can you invite me to your party? No, stop it! No, 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 no! This is a really big deal to me! No! I really have no idea! 
I'm no shame in my game. I probably hurt so many people in this scene. Wow. First of all, how many hair extensions was I wearing? That is a lot of hair. The commitment I had in these like very um, physical scenes blows my mind because I just feel like, oh, poor Vic, she's like skin and bones and I'm just like jumping all over her body and Perez Hilton probably didn't sign up for that. He probably walked away and was like, ow. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I loved when I got to wear comfortable clothes and I really loved those leggings. I do remember that. I think that was the first time I ever shot in a plane and I remember thinking, wow, we really took like a piece of a plane and it's like open on one side and I thought that was so crazy. Oh, there's another one? You gotta help me make pizzas. Why? Okay, you know that super hot senior, Sean Becker? I know of him. Well, I want that boy. So, I gotta take him a free pizza. Right. Cheese, cheese, pepperoni, cheese, meat lovers trio, sausage! Open the oven. Okay, okay. You give me anxiety. Good! Well, well. What a cute boy like another free sausage pizza with no green peppers whatsoever. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> yeah, good weird. So, I don't suppose you want to eat this pizza all by yourself, do ya? No. So, I was thinking maybe I should go inside there with you and the two of us could share the... What's going on? Whoa, whoa, who's she? My girlfriend. Oh, so when were you gonna tell me about this? <laughs> oh, Can I just have my pizza? Oh, your pizza. Yeah, you want your pizza. Okay, yeah, sure. Let me just get that for you, huh? Why on the door and not like on his face? We're over! <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm pretty sure I threw that last bit in. We're over! Wow. Just so much energy. I, I'm like tired watching myself. I want that boy. Good old Trina. Honestly, anything Trina does is the right way. That should just be a life lesson. If you're trying to get somewhere in life, do what Trina did. Just kidding. <laughs> totally <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Since when are you and Robbie friends? Ugh, we're not. I just, um, I'm making him do stuff for me. And why would he agree to that? Cause I'm pretty. So when you're on a really cool show like Victorious, you acquire a lot of really interesting swag and memorabilia throughout the years. So I brought a bunch of it to show you. Something cool. I have three of these, but I used to think this was like the coolest thing you could ever have in your whole entire life. And I still do. Wow. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. We got really lucky, we got to win a few of these. And I wish you could see through this, but I'll tell you, it's just really spectacular. There's like people dancing, there's a, oh my gosh, there's acrobatics happening. Oh my, what is that? There's pizza, you guys, there's pizza in here. So back when I was on Victorious, we had a lot of swag that was sold in stores. And here's a folder for school. Okay, there we are. And there's Vic. Every week we would have to sign autographs for charities. Oh, and I stole one. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But I will give this to someone who wants it if you reach out to me. And last but not least, turn around. Oh man. Oh, she's having a moment. She's being moody. But this is my Barbie. <laughs> What happened? Girlfriend. I don't even know if this opens. She's so pretty, you guys. She's literally the most stunning thing you've ever seen. It's such a shame you're gonna miss this. But um, this is so dirty, <laughs> it was in the garage. But um, it's my Barbie. And yeah, I wore this outfit in one of the episodes and those are my actual hair extensions from the show. I'm just kidding. Oh, goodness. Most likely to be a cheese.
cheerleader. I have no idea where that came from. But she looks so cute in a cheer costume, would she not? Yeah, we'll go with that. Ooh, most likely to run a mortuary. Most likely to be on the cover of GQ. Most likely to become a famous pop star. Most likely to be your best friend. Most likely to be the brains behind every hit song that ever existed. Most likely to be world's coolest human to ever exist in the world. Ready? Yeah. Okay, you guys. So this is a fancy schmancy dress. Drake Bell is a very fancy person, so sometimes we got to wear fancy clothes because he loved fancy clothes. This is a Prada dress um, that I wore in the Fairly Odd Parents movie. And these are Tootie's earrings. And if you look back at the movie, you'll see me in this. Imagine that. I got to keep it, so I was really excited about that. On the Fairly Odd Parents tone, this is Timmy's hat. I got it, and it's so dirty. I just realized that. This could have been his stunt doubles hat too because we had a lot of stunt work, so you know, maybe it wasn't Drake Bell's head that did that. I don't know. Follow Nick Rewind for more throwback Nickelodeon. <laughs> I was dying, oh. Anyways, cute. 